In this lesson of Black Hat Ransom, we're going to show you an alternative to RDP that hackers will target to deploy ransomware, and that is VNC. And you'll find this on Linux machines or Raspberry Pi or anything that doesn't run Windows. It's likely going to use VNC, and you'll find that on port 5900. So we're running Nmap scanner, we're using the dash SV command to find the version, and we find VNC running on port 5900. Now we can now use Metasploit. Uh, there is a vulnerability that can be used uh, with Metasploit. Uh, this is the Metasploitable machine that I'm using for this demonstration. There's a deliberate vulnerability in that is password credentials. So it's not a technical exploit, it's just taking advantage of poor credentials and there is a scanner in Metasploit that you can use to take advantage of it. So I've typed in MSF console. I'm just going to go through these steps to run the database and we'll head into it. So hopefully this won't take too long. So VNC is uh, not as common as RDP that ha for hackers to exploit for ransomware, but it does happen now and again. So if you type in search, VNC underscore login, and we have an auxiliary scanner here for VNC. So we just use zero, because that's the only option we've got on the list here. So we're into the auxiliary scanner. So that's show options. So we've already got the R port 5900, which is the default for VNC. And we've already established that that is the port that is being used. So we've just got to set the R host to the target IP. So set hot set our host then the target IP address and this is the uh, IP for the Metasportable machine that I'm using for this demonstration so we'll set the username to root to make this a bit easier so we're just going to brute force the password not the username so that's all set now the changes so let's just click uh, type in run and there we go we've got login successful and it's deliberate weak credentials they've just used password for the login so the next step would be to then try and get the remote access and we can use uh, an alternative to the uh, x3 RDP viewer we've got GVNC viewer so we could then be able to view the desktop of the victim's machine. So we type that in, GVNC viewer, then the target IP address, hit enter, we enter the weak credentials which we know now is password. And there we have it, the attack machine now has a view of the victim's desktop. They can do things on the victim's machine remotely. And hackers will want remote access like this to deploy ransomware. 